Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it is the Adam Friedland Show podcast. Welcome. The podcast about the Adam Friedland Show. Yes, we are super fans of Can the I Adam Friedland Show. some room here to make sure I don't... Yeah, you're listening to Talking Friedland. We're talking, yeah. And I'm your, your host, Chris Smalldick. Yeah. Um, Chris, what do you say about the allegations that have surfaced recently? Against who? Against you. Against me? Mm-hmm. What? Well, what was I, Gadzooks, what was I accused of this time? <laughs> it was uh, force, it, it, complaining that my girlfriend starfishes during sex. You remember that? That's what he got canceled for. <laughs> what is a starfish? He's you like, just put your arms well, he and legs like sent, apart? I, 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 actually, I met, I met that girl that he was dating. She was some like, uh, mm-hmm. like very beautiful girl, like a model or something, yeah. like a streamer. Where did you meet her? At uh, Meltdown Comics. Oh, like, cool. Like 10 years ago. Yeah. And that was, like, probably at the height of Chris Hardwick's... Nerd fame. comedy. Yeah, yeah. It was when it was when I was living in L.A., and there was that... I wish there was a better word for it. Maybe I'll try to coin it right now. And and now that it's, it's far enough in the rear view, the whole vibe is encapsulated enough that that weird kind of, um, like, like, earnest... Like, not just nerd culture, but mm-hmm. that nerd culture that's, like... Very highly compa- I guess it is just nerd culture, because it it's is. like you forget it was, that it you forget neo nerd. And the culture. nerds have always been. The nerds have always been like the yeah. entitled dickhead. Like they always frame themselves as like you know that's their whole thing. It's like yeah. in high school they're like, yeah, well one day I'm gonna be a millionaire and you're gonna be bagging my groceries. And it's like, well, what's wrong with people to bag groceries? You yeah. fucking f- piece of shit. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what? Uh, what was I even talking about? Revenge of the Nerds. A word that you're, you're it goes to back to Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah. Like the whole thing with that movie is like uh, there's supposed to be some kind of underdog, but right. then that main guy, and this is a trite observation, yeah. the main guy rapes a woman, and that's supposed to be seen as like he does. He pretends yeah, he's to, wearing the mask. Yeah. He's wearing the alien mask. So he tricks a woman and, he's and got rapes a huge her. cock, so he gets away with it. He gets away with it. Yeah. So it's like the whole thing yeah. is like. It's, it's always, like, seeped in this very seedy, angry type mm-hmm. of entitlement. Right. That the people that are supposedly oppressing the nerds mm-hmm. don't, like... You know, like, what's worse? Calling a kid a fag for playing video games? Yeah. Or shooting up your entire fucking school with an Uzi and planting bombs in the cafeteria? Um, I'd say the shooting of the school. The shooting school. of the school. Yeah. So, even, like, all of that, all of that, basically, all of Chris mm-hmm. Hardwick's thing, that mm-hmm. whole world, <laughs> the UCB type, the improv yeah. guys, yeah. what they're saying is, is that women, like, rape is good. Yeah, women owe us pussy. Yeah, because women have committed the crime of fucking a guy who's popular and good at sports. Mm-hmm. So, they deserve to and be handsome. raped. Yeah. And not only raped, but then dying in a school shooting and being blown up in the cafeteria. Yeah. There hasn't been enough celebration of school shooters as nerds. Yeah. Yeah. As being part of nerd culture. Yeah. It's funny because, like, Elliot Roger got framed as, like, mm-hmm. you know, that was the MRA shooter or whatever, mm-hmm. the sense of entitlement. Yeah, that is true. He did kind of explicitly mm-hmm. say that. But, like, it's it's not even, like... Like, Dylan and the other guy, Eric, were probably attractive guys. It's like, it's not even that the women weren't fucking them. It's that the women were maybe also had an interest in the people that are more sort of mainstream. Correct. And so yeah. it's, they, they, hate, they hate society fully. Well, it was Ma- Marilyn Manson's music that led them to do that. It was. Yeah. Marilyn Manson, who also, didn't he finally get Me too by, his, did, by yeah. his own dick? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he sucked me. <laughs> He sucked me, and I told him not to, and he took his ribs out and sucked me. <laughs> Lock it up there, chowed I had. That's how Marilyn Manson talks. He does a little ventriloquist yeah, yeah. act with his dick. His dick's got a like a little wig on. A little, he has a little string tied hey, to his dick. Hey, shut it down there, chowder head. That's what he calls his cock, because it's filled with chowder. He's a ch- Ow, fuck. God damn it. Cum chowder. I just, I think I just chipped my tooth. On the mic? Yeah, trying That's to. That's why reach, you need the wind guard. Trying to reach over here to turn turn my levels down. I'm a little, I'm, I'm, I'm clipping. You're a little up. So, anyways, what was I saying? Chris Hardwick. Yeah, that's what he got. Oh, so um, what's the word for? Oh, starfishing. Yeah, I don't know. I wish I was. I wish I was a smarter guy so that I could coin. Because you know, I came up with the term misogynoir. Misogynoir. That and that became a real thing. That became a real thing. That was like. It's funny. I, th- I think pe- people kind of like memory hole that that I was actually the first person to say misogynoir 
and then it like caught on and I just did it as a joke and then that you know then it became a thing but yeah what would be a word for that for that uh uh how about, let's call it darthing like darth vader okay yeah they're darthing who are the nerds yeah darthing is when you like you pretend to be the Maybe oh. that's maybe that's a horrible choice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I just picked something from Star Wars. Yeah, is the Force or something? I have no idea. Perfidy would be a better example. Yeah, perfidy is a, is probably the correct word for that. But there was kind of like a tyranny of the nerd and comedy for a while. Yeah, meltdown like, com- meltdown comics was like the main yeah the, the main well, those independent nerds are like, comedy it's room like, it's in like LA in, in Dark Knight when the yeah. when the, the 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 there's that populist they get everyone out of prison they set up their own courts. Yeah, and they're highly punitive and killing everybody for every reason. Yeah, and that's how the the nerds were. But, but uh, you know, and a lot of people say, will say, "But Nick, aren't you a nerd?" N- no, no, I'm a, a fat. I'm a loser. You're a loser. You're not a nerd. Which is not a thing. The yeah. difference between that is there's no community with losers. <laughs> there's no no. I'm there's just no a, loser rights there, movement. It doesn't exist. I'm just a guy that sucks. <laughs> yeah. Sort of by himself. Yeah. It's not an identity in a way that you really can't relate to. And it yeah. Doesn't. You don't have like a girl that's like, yeah, I'm actually like a total loser. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There's no yeah groups. Of, there's, yeah. You're not gonna like <laughs> go to the loser meetup. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to play. I'm going to, I'm going to like, <laughs> is uh, there an R slash loser? It doesn't matter how much money I make. I will always be a loser. You'll still be a loser. Yeah. I've, we, we're making more money now than you ever. You still sleep half the nights on a sofa. I uh, know. I still go to, I go and home. And the other half of nights on the Dude, floor. Yesterday was like the first like quote unquote day off. Yeah, I know. I ate an entire box of cereal and then. I've, I found out that they added Wave Race to the Nintendo Switch, and audibly in my apartment by myself, I went, ooh. <laughs> and I heard myself do it. I heard it. <laughs> and that is, that's an awful noise yeah, to yeah. hear yourself make Oh God. in relation to a 20-year-old game <laughs> that I rented maybe five times from Blockbuster. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Yeah, no, but what did he yeah, he got canceled by by that girl, Chloe. He got me too early on yeah. in, the, in the Me Too. Hardwick. Thing. Hardwick. Yeah. And I gotta remember this before we get too far into this. That Blue Chew is the read this week because I accidentally fucked up and I did my bookie last week. Okay. And not Blue Chew this week. So maybe this week we'll do I'll just say my bookie again because technically they bought this week. Just to keep things, so they got a free. So read. they got a free one. Free read last week, and then uh, yeah. So what he got canceled for is he was like sending her. He was like, "You need to be, you need to be more. You know, you got to make the pussy pop during fucking." Yeah. So she's just kind of laying down. She was laying down. Which is that honestly, what that means? Honestly, if he just sent her a text being like, "Hey, you know, like." I just, you know, do with you. But if, like, maybe if you're, like, if there's something I could do to maybe, like, make you more into it or something, uh-huh. you know, then it wouldn't have been as bad. The fact that he used the term star fishing, like, he's he's on some forum yeah. where he knows that, where there's, like, guys that are, like, they just star fish. That's, like, a nerd term, Yeah, I would assume. Like, what you have to be it's Googling. It's not a cool thing to say. What you have to be Googling. That's what it should be called. Her name was Chloe Dykstra? Let's just use, let's, I didn't want to say her name because I didn't want to. Well, it's know, in the news. It's in the news. But I didn't want to, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, no, let's call it that. Let's call the nerd thing that. Let's just r- appropriate star, star fishing. Star fishing. Yeah. Mas- noir fishing. <laughs> and then I can piggyback on the success of my my last uh what's it called when you invent a word? Um I don't know. I think inventing a word, I don't know. There's got to be a a, w- yeah. a word for that. I'll look it up. Taxa lexa lexagenesis. The lexagenesis of of uh, let's call it that. It's called neologism. Lex- neologism. Yeah, it's a new speech utterance. Oh, okay. Well, let's forget that. We're gonna call it uh, lexagenesis. Is what it's called. That's okay. what I, so. I'm neologizing. Lexagenesis. I'm gonna neologize lexagenesis. So my lexagenetical uh, uh, utterance of misogynoir. 
has now been started. followed up. You could call it my heat too. Yeah, yeah. His star. Wait, I guess we're just now we're just changing the definition of a word. Yeah. Yeah. Star Wars fishing. Star Wars fishing. Death Star fishing. Okay. <laughs> I kind of like Darth. I think misogyny noir has just got a lot more. It does. A lot more magic. It does. Yeah. Black girl magic. Black girl magic. What happened to black girl magic? Did we find out that it mm. was not real? They got they got expelled from Hogwarts. How old were you when you found out black girl magic isn't real? Um, it was like a finding Santa Claus. Mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. I found out that this whole time my dad was doing black girl magic mm-hmm. instead of uh, all these black girls. I don't know. It was heartbreaking. Mm-hmm. But I think... What was I going to say? I don't fucking know. Yeah, we're exhausted from the last episode, but we're really happy right now. I think we're happy, no? Yeah, I don't know if I'm happy. I mean, like, I... I do you want to just have a real conversation about it? No. Okay, good. It wasn't a conversation. It was just kind of a statement. Yeah. Because I was slow kind of riffing on something. I, mm-hmm. I just wanted to contextualize the situation right now for the audience, our friends, the audience. Um, but, yeah, we're here at the studio in Manhattan, New York. Yeah, I don't know. Happy is not a sustainable thing, especially working on, like, anything creative, especially with, like, videos. Like, the, the, the nice part about doing the podcast for the last six years is, like, when it sucks, you could be like, yeah, it was just a conversation. I didn't matter. care. It didn't matter. Yeah, it didn't matter. When you spend a lot of time making stuff and then it's, like, not how you wanted it to be. Yeah. Then uh, it really makes me want to fucking kill myself. I see what you're saying. Yeah, the wins feel exhilarating, like you're flying, but and the you losses what, feel devastating. The nice thing about getting older is yes. it starts with your body. Your body gets older before your mind does. I feel, or it starts getting like older. I don't mean yeah. like aging, but like you know, joints start hurting and stuff like that. But yeah. then it's like now I look like shit all the time, and I feel like shit. And it's like there's a limited amount of time. I might as well. I've embarrassed myself so much in my life. Um, in public, yeah. In public, yeah. I might as well just be like, okay, this is the best I can do, and if it's fucking bad, then. Well, it's not. It's the beginning of what you're sure, gonna do. Sure, whatever. I, yeah, I'm not looking to. to yeah. <coughs> we, I, we, we. It's fine. It's but, fine. Yeah, yeah. But. Uh, but yeah, I know yeah. what you mean. It's fun to make shit. It's a lot of fun to make shit, and then it's also very upsetting. Yeah. It's kind of like you know what you know what. The creative process is sort of like, yeah, is like you're looking at your own dick through a magnifying glass, <laughs> <laughs> and then the mag you, you get you get away. so excited and you're get, getting closer and closer and eventually you don't see the magnifying glass anymore and you're like, do I have the biggest dick in the <laughs> of entire all world? Time. <laughs> and then you like go to show it to other people and they're like, what are you talking about? And you're like, no, but wait, where did the magnifying glass go? <laughs> and it's gone. Yeah. And the magnifying glass is gone. Yes. And you have to find the next magnifying glass. <laughs> and that's next week's episode. You have to invent the next magnifying glass. Yeah. 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 And then you, it's pulled away. Your dick's not even hard. Yeah, exactly. You weren't even hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so small. It's small. It doesn't work. It's soft. It's small. It doesn't yeah. work. It's unattractive. It's bad looking. It even looks if, bad. Even then, it's bad looking on top of it. <laughs> Oh man! You say fuck it. I'm just gonna spend. I'm gonna spend ten thousand dollars on props. Yeah. Yeah. Is that how much we spent? No, I don't know. No, we spent a lot. Props. Yeah. You did buy a professional grade photo printer. I did to make the book jacket. Which I'll tell you guys if you want to go to. Oh, by the way, I guess this comes out today. We added a show in Philadelphia <laughs> Sunday night because they were sold out. So I'll be there Sunday night. I'm going to go home after this and do my best to write a new 30 minutes because I guess Kyla has posted a lot of clips. And yeah. so now almost my entire act is online. Yeah. Which is weird because I didn't, there, I had no material before those Austin shows. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I got to do, I got to be on stage for an hour. I got to do right. something. And you just came up. I with just something. sort of pulled it all out of my yeah. ass. You kind of podcasted on stage. I did. And now yeah. that kind of, so I got to just start that over again. But yeah, you got to do it again. Uh, so I'm going to try my best. We'll try to have fun this. If you, if it's going to be a workshop weekend, hopefully. I think by the end of the weekend, you'll have something new. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Um, um, also, I will be in Seattle September 23rd. 
Portland, September 24th. Los Angeles, September 30th, October 1st. You can get all those tickets at adamfreeland.com slash tour. Uh, also, I'm selling shirts. Uh, three new shirts coming out next week. adamfreeland.com slash shop. Thank you. And then I might, I, I might, because I'm still sitting on, I still have come.town. And I also own <coughs> Adam Friedland dot show and the Adam Friedland dot show. Nice. So I might just point. I'll either point those to the shop or to the Patreon. Yeah, nice. But uh, the what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the book. The book. I I tried to. So I tried to do this. I tried to like just give it away on Patreon. Yeah. And when I typed in giveaway book, it like pops up with this warning that says it looks like you're trying to do a giveaway. That's actually illegal. What? Yeah, because I guess technically it's like a form of gambling. So there's, there's like specific ways in which you can... How do you do it then? It has to be open to everybody because I tried to set it just to like specific tiers. Oh. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's like it either has to be open to the public. It has to be like a contest. Like I yeah. might do a thing where it's like... Maybe we'll, I, I really don't like the idea of... There's a lot of people who sent in unsolicited uh, monologue jokes, mm-hmm. which like... A cool move Yeah If it were 1943 Yeah that's how you get a job in comedy Yeah that's how you Yeah you become That's a, like how a, Woody Allen got a job in comedy That's literally what he everyone said jokes used to into do. the radio It's wild how the world used to work You used to be able yeah. to just move to New York from a cornfield mm-hmm. And go to like I, Top floor of the Empire State Building please Yeah and Like I'd like to be the president of Pan American Airlines <laughs> And like well we'll give you a shot <laughs> Yeah, you get 15 people died in a plane crash at Idlewild <laughs> Airport last night. <laughs> Looks like it's back to Iowa for new CEO Johnny Dinkledorp. <laughs> yeah. What's Pan Am going to do next? I guess wait for the next retard to wander into the office. Well, those guys like saw their their friends die in their arms in Korea. No, not Korea. These are these are like these are these this are the lost generation world. guys. Oh, lost generation. Yeah, these are all World War One guys. Of those guys, they got yeah. They they just sat in a trench, being like killed by nerve gas. <laughs> they come home with just just that blisters. war sucked. They, <laughs> that awful. had to have sucked, dude. Like I, <laughs> you know what? I you know what I couldn't deal with in World War One? Just the mud. It's so the boring. Mud, all the mud. You alone. get trench foot. Yeah. Yeah. Your shoes suck. You take even. You're you take, in mud. You, you're ignore, in Belgium. Let's ignore the bullets. Yeah. The razor wire. Yeah, yeah. The constant shelling and the gas. And it's got to be so boring with those fucking trenches, right? Too. Yeah, just, inst- just sitting there overdosing on tenactin or whatever you have <laughs> to fucking do to survive. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. What is which? Sh- what I is don't know shit if you saw war. 1917, but uh, I did. Yeah, shot by. I thought it was pretty good. Our friend Deacons, who who did uh, a lot of people. I don't know if people recognize it. That was him. He showing the the cold open. Yeah. 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 yeah we're gonna do the next one as a continuous shot. Um, it's so it's it'll so be funny. A big, it'll be a tracking shot. I can't remember where that started. I think it started with Birdman, but there's been this thing recently where they're like, "It's all one continuous shot," and it's like, "Well, it's digitally stitched together." Which means, yeah, it's a gimmick. Well, it's not a gimmick. It's just not a continuous shot. No, that's the magnifying glass. There is one. There's that Russian movie, or I don't know if it's Ru- is it Russian Arc? It's like two hours. Uh, what's it called? Russian. Yeah. It's funny to say that we're going to do a continuous shot where it's like, I don't think I don't think our thing we could get through a single line of dialogue. Yeah. Yeah, Russian arc. Yeah, you didn't memorize a single line for that thing. No, no. If it was you honestly, wanna, it was impressive. A little uh, peek behind the behind the the curtain. I was just on that phone call. I was repeating, Nick just reading me my lines. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's so much fun. It's so yeah. much fun to make shit. Yeah, it was Russian arc. Um, it is so much fun to make shit. Mm-hmm. And you have a great hour or two right after you've done it, and you feel great. I don't even get that. Like, when I used to write... No, we, we were at the restaurant with Alex. We were feeling good. We were, like, stoked. We are like, we're making... Yeah, wasn't there I, one more thing to do, though? There was, like... There was, yeah, there, but we felt like it was, was a win. No, but that was still in the process of doing it. It's yeah. like... I don't know. Like, I used to have it all the time when I would, like, write. Like, I, you know, when I just made all my money, like, yeah. uh, doing that, like, Nicole stuff. Is, you know, we'd have days where it's, like, you'd do something and it would just click and I'd feel really good about it and I'd send it off. And the instant, <laughs> like, the instant I would walk around, it'd be, like, New York in the fall. Yeah, yeah. And I was 25 and it's, like, yeah, living in, like... 
in a, in, in a squalor. In a closet, yeah. But, you know, I mean, t- like, that was the first time in my life where it was like, I'm, on- I'm only doing the thing. Yeah. Like, nothing else. No day job, else, nothing. Yeah. It's just the thing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'd finish something, and I'd go out, and, it, like, a, yeah, New York in the fall. I'd sit with, like, a book in the park. Yeah. And I'd really feel like, I'm, like, I'm doing it, you know? <laughs> and then... Then it would, in your head, it's like, no, you're not. <laughs> you, you suck. Know, you fucking faggot. No, you you're made not. $100 you're, you're doing nothing. from a fake article. From a fake article that sucks and it's barely funny. No, it was very funny. And then you're like, you feel worse. You feel worse. I mean, I guess it, it is like drug addiction. Yeah. No, that's really how it feels. Yeah. Like, you know, there, there are times where I felt like I wanted to cry for a gay comedy but show. But you want to cry all the time. Though, so. It's true. Yeah. I do want to cry all the time, but it's yeah. just you get like you get so pit, you get pissed, you get it like happy. It's fun. I mean, we're gonna like it's the the other thing that's kind of exciting about it is just like we're just starting, you know. Like we're well, gonna we're do not. stuff we're that's actually our, good. We're in our mid thirties. We're just starting shooting stuff though. <laughs> <laughs> we're in our mid thirties. We did. We we're shot, gassing ourselves. We up shot right a now. one six minute video. <laughs> <We just>, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, making stuff. Is, <laughs> You know, we what it's, <laughs> you know what it's like is it's uh yeah Nick's i'm just i'm talking like i'm in the james cameron suffering. we're literally <laughs> we're talking like we're fucking in, inside the actor studio yeah yeah it does feel good though it does it does feel good it's truly magical no and that's it's weird because it gives you kind of a perspective on how like people turn into rapists in the entertainment industry because you you turn everything into this romantic process. You're like, no, we're not. I'm not. I'm not. You know, fucking an actress at gunpoint. It's it's part of my com- process. It's yeah. It's yeah. We're artists or whatever. We're artists. We're both. We know, we know that. We have. We know these film guys. You know, Belandix raped. <laughs> Don't say it. Belandix. <laughs> 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 oh my god Yeah They were mean to They were mean That's to our him. friend It is our friend You shut up Yeah You shut up guys But you should Look be clear We should have booked him You were like You were like Let's have Belandic on the show And I did say I don't know how that would go <laughs> I will take ownership for that And I will say also That He has a lot of really funny things To talk about But he did not We did not get there So Mm-hmm. You know, but that's on us. That's on the uh, that's on the broadcaster. That's on. Yeah, on meanwhile, there. I brought my friends on, and they carried the whole show. Who the cars? Yeah, they did great. Yeah, we had a good time with them. Yeah. Uh, sorry, just got a text. Oh, uh, from who? A girl. Not your girlfriend. Not my girlfriend. A different girl. A different girl. No. Are you somebody. sure you want to be saying that on the show? Uh, it is a friend of mine's girlfriend who wants to borrow the car. It's actually my my girlfriend's brother's <laughs> girlfriend. Ooh, a woman Ooh. wants something from me. She wants to borrow my car. It doesn't work, my car. Which car? The Mercedes? Yeah, it's done. Or the Audi? I'm not. I don't have an Audi. Is the Lamborghini still in the, the shop? The Lamborghini is still in the shop. Mm. Yeah, it's been in the shop for nine months. Mm-hmm. Those things are just so much expensive. Well, you so, so, so much... Uh, so much money to you gotta maintain. maintain it. Yeah. I mean, if you put you put seventy five thousand miles on it and you didn't get a single oil change. I know. What do you think is going to happen? It I would know, be it's very like funny. A, it's to a have, work of Italian art to have a Lamborghini and there's just like like fucking like a big Buford wrapper <laughs> like crammed into the that cup holders. Or just like you strap things to the top with ratchet straps and mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, like a CD case. The doors don't <laughs> yeah. don't aren't working. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Lamborghinis are pretty fucking ugly, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. A man who could not afford one. But anyway, what were we saying? Um, I don't know. I guess we should... Uh, I feel like we came in hot on the Chris Hardwick stuff. No, I'm looking at my YouTube recommended videos. Big oh. Iron, development of the Cult 1848 <laughs> Dragoon Revolver. <laughs> U.S. military rifles since 1776. <laughs> I found their scam call center. Let's call them. Oh, who watches the Watchmen? Oh, I don't know. Uh, why was the cult peacemaker so popular? What's all this gun stuff? Why? Yeah, why do you have so much gun stuff? I don't know. Because you were looking for a gun. 
Um, yeah, I guess. Anyways, let's see what's uh, let's see what let's go to filmforum dot com. Yeah, let's see what's this playing. Is, this is a this is a this is a. Uh, now we got the big desktop out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, we got uh, Doctor Strange Love tonight. We got uh, the territory. Carnal knowledge. You ever see this? No. It's all right. It's Mike Nichols. Yeah. Carnal knowledge is part of that, that little like uh, Jack Nicholson run in the early yeah. early seventies. King of Marvin Gardens. Five easy pieces. Oh, it was like Carnal that one knowledge. studio. Last detail. That BTS. Was that was a that was the studio that made B- BTS studio BTS yeah. yeah they made a what do you call it Easy Rider mm-hmm. which sucks you know Jack Nicholson is coming out of retirement to do a K-pop movie no he's not yeah I know he has all advanced Alzheimer's <laughs> <laughs> it's tragic it's really sad TMZ tragic Jack Nicholson's <laughs> advanced Alzheimer's has convinced him he's a K-pop, K-pop star. he just has the fucking two block haircut and he's like. Yeah, do go diggy baga do. Making up Korean. I heard a, a good Hollywood rumor about Mike Nichols. What? Now that we're in Hollywood. What? On the set of Catch Twenty Two, every night he was in a he would have a triad sexual relationship with a Japanese with a Japanese mafia. Oh no, chi- Chinese are the triads. Triads. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's called up because each one of us, our dick has three inches. Uh-huh. What's the guy's name? Anth- the triad stands for the three inches of the dick. <laughs> the first inch, the penetrator. The second inch, the support. And the third inch, the base. <laughs> and to, uh, to three of those form the power of the Chinese. <laughs> the triangle dick. The Chinese penis. Um, what's his name? A- uh, Anthony... Sorry. Gay actor. Um, gay actor Anthony what? Gay actor Anthony... What's his fucking name? He's, he's the less exciting one in the, in the tri- sexual triad. Now I'm saying, a, I'm saying a rumor and I'm forgetting the guy's name. Yeah, I want to yeah, say Anthony. Anthony Edwards, but it's not him. Um... Was the film Catch-22 good? I've never seen the film Catch-22. I read the book. Yeah. Um, fuck, what's his name? Anthony. Oh, Anthony Perkins. Okay. So it was Mike Nichols, and he was fucking Anthony Perkins, and then the third person in the gay sex triad was none other than Mr. Art Garfunkel. Wow. Yeah. I heard it. I heard a rumor that Art Garfunkel used to take his hair and shove it into women's pussies. <laughs> that was a thing. He'd like bunch it up on the top of his head and try and get all of his hair into a woman's pussy. <laughs> That's what, he's got a lot of hair. That guy. Yeah. Have you seen Bad Timing? No. The Nicholas Rogue film uh-uh. with Art Garfunkel. Uh-uh. He rapes a bitch. Does he? Yeah, he rapes a bitch in that movie. I guess we should go to Craigslist. What, what were we trying to find? A CRT TV? No, I'm going to buy that on Amazon. RVs plus camp. I love spending money on the show. Yeah. I love not making any money from the show anymore. Honestly, yeah. It should just like. It's it, kind of very liberating. We should figure out a budget so that all of the money is spent and we get like, I don't know, enough to cover rent and stuff. The show only gives us five grand each. Yeah. And then, uh, and then the rest of it all just goes to props. Yeah, expensive props, props and sets. Yeah, uh, penthouse apartments. I'm trying to have sets. Three hours at a penthouse apartment. Damn, bro, I'm trying to have sets for you. You're trying to find a, an RV right now. I was say, I, I'm I'm on the Why don't you get I'm a on this little, like mobile home kick? I want to. Why you want a full mobile home? Why don't you just get a Sprinter? That's what people do. No, you I'm could be like a Gabby Petito van life kind of per- woman. I kept cracking myself up like a month ago. I kept going around like. It's in uh, van life. Boop, you homeless. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about van life. Talking about van life. Boop, you homeless. Um, in my apartment. Saying that oh, you should get an Airstream. I don't know. Nah, Airstreams are gay. They're hipster. No, I want like an actual trailer and get a little place, get some land in the Poconos. Oh, because you were talking about having a trailer in the last episode? Yeah. Well, I want like a mobile home. 
Like, when I, why don't you build a house? That would be fun to build a house. I don't want to to learn how to do it. I don't want to build a house. That seems what? like way too much work. Well, you do, you are, you can buy a house that has land. This is cool. This co- camo trailer with shark teeth. On no, it. yeah, it's like a uh, bape. It's got like bape stuff on it. This it's camo. Wait, what is it from? I don't know. No, it's got like the ba- the. This is like a. Oh, that's like a specific thing. Yeah, it's like a uh, bape hoodies. But the camo is made out of puzzle pieces. I think regular camo just looks like that, doesn't it? I don't know. It's kind of it's tight all, though. It's all puzzle stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, I need a. I want like a. Yeah. Let me see if I can find. Find like a good example of. Uh, why don't you talk for a second while I scroll? Yeah. Well, I'm just looking at all these mobile homes you're trying to buy. Yeah, like something like that's this. That's nice. Yeah. In the Florida Keys? Yeah. Dude, that's what you should do. Yeah. 50 Gs? Yeah. Yeah, you don't even need a fucking mortgage for that. It's like it says perfect for docking. I could have my friends over. <laughs> Just doing it in the front lawn. I'm, I'm showing them the ad. I'm like, right here, pal. So you can fuck off. You can tell your the cops is, to fuck your off. Dick is inside of your Dominican prison. <laughs> <laughs> it's right here in the listing. So if you have a problem with it, you can give me my fucking fifty-two thousand dollars back plus interest. I was looking specifically for a beautiful mobile home in front of the water inlet, perfect for docking. That's what it says, dude. Have you been to the Florida Keys? Nah, never. It looks kind of cool. We should yeah. go. Isn't that where uh, Hemingway lived, Key West? Yeah, yeah. He had a bunch of cats. Yeah. I'm going to start What's like wrong with that Sprinter van? Let me see the inside. Which one? This one? Yeah, let me see the inside. Sprinter vans, first of all, this is $125,000. Oh, it's fine. No, it's not. I don't, like, this is... That looks nice, dude. It's all wood and nah, shit. No, the Sprinter, Sprinter van camping is for fucking assholes. You can go to a music festival. You know, honestly, it's like uh, <laughs> Brian Laundry doesn't get enough fucking uh, credit for really putting an end to that bullshit. Yeah, yeah, he really killed that. He killed, killed the vibe. He, he, in the minute fucking Gabby Petito's life slipped out of her body, <laughs> so went the way of van life. Yeah, and uh, van and life in- influences. Honestly, thank God for that. That young girl, an angel. Making the ultimate sacrifice so people she, stop doing this shit. She had to do what she had to do. Yeah, this doesn't... I don't fuck with this at all. I think all the wood and stuff looks nice. Yeah, but it's like you're living in a fucking van. Like, why would you get you're a... You're not living in it. You're taking it on the road. Yeah, I mean, no. You can go see America's National Parks. Yeah. You can go kill your girlfriend. See, this is all right. Look, this already has the guts in there. It's already planned out. This is $20,000. For a school bus that'll run for fucking ever. That's cool. Yeah. Honestly, that's that's really tight. That's how you do it. Should we drive up to Greenwich, Connecticut right now and get that? Um, no, this is what I was actually looking for years ago, back before... Like a John Madden before bus. Before somebody put the kibosh on my big plans for the show. <laughs> but, but a John Madden bus... <laughs> Yeah, you were really invested in that. Nick wanted to get a place in like parking in Bushwick that had a a DC like a DC outlet. Like to move to move the show into Yeah, instead of getting a studio or an just, AC outlet. And then we yeah. have a mobile and we just take the show on the road. Yeah, like John Madden. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. We could do it like, yeah, like college game day on ESPN. That would have been great, dude. We would have had a good time. We would have tried all the different barbecue restaurants in the country. That would have been cool. I know somebody couldn't complain about that, you know, if we'd done that, if we turned it into a barbecue <laughs> tour. But no. No compromise allowed. Uh, yeah. We, I got, I got a, we got a, an RV. Uh-huh. For a friend's bachelor party Which, a couple years way, ago, and it was so fun. Brought to you by Blue, Blue Chew. Blue Chew. Dot com. If guys, if you love sex, you love Blue Chew. If you like sex, you'll love Blue Chew. Dot com. One of the best websites for sex lovers. Yeah. Here's look at this guy. He that looks, guy's great. He looks really happy to not have his dick work. You know what I like about him? You can't tell if he's a Democrat or a Republican. Yes. Yeah, you he's, put that before. I'm not even really sure yeah. what you mean. I know. Every time I see that guy, that's what I think. No, because they, it's like every male pharmaceutical ad, that's kind of the vibe, right? Mm-hmm. They have to cast an actor that can, like, that can like 
kind of speak to everyone, right? Yeah. That guy's handsome, but he's of a certain age. He's got a little bit of salt and pepper in the beard. Yeah. You know? You don't even know if he's gay or straight. Look at this. That could be a gay too. man. There's hair all over his shirt. Really? Yeah, there's like lint and hair all over his shirt. It looks like it's on my computer screen, but it's actually... So, zoom in on it. Yeah. Oh, you can't. You can't. It's set as the background image. Let's go to... Look, we'll go to Web Inspector real quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll find this image. Uh, dear God. What is this? All right, what? How did you do this? You found the code yeah. for this website? Well, in Safari, you just you open Web Inspector and you can... Uh, really? Yeah. Wow. You're good at computers, bro. Yeah, dude. There you go. Here there it is. is. Um, uh, open a new window. And there we go. Now we can zoom in. Computer, enhance. Computer, <laughs> sexualize. Wait, yeah, he has see? one piece of hair on his shirt. There's lint here. There's lint here. <laughs> this there's is lint unacceptable. Here. Well, no, this is what ever I Ever since you became an O-Tour, Nick. Yeah. Ever since you became an yes. O-Tour, yes. your yeah, standards yeah. have gone through the roof. Yeah. His hair should be fixed here. He's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Honestly, it looks bad. Now that I'm, I've zoomed in, I don't like the hair on the back of his hand. Now that I've zoomed, this and is a bad knuckles. choice. This should have been gray. That they should have chosen the gray one. Look, their product just bleeds into this guy. Yeah. And what are you trying to say with that? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll talk to the ad buyers we'll talk about to the that. Ad. Well, what we're gonna do? The website isn't shit. This is more of a pitch for our. Uh, are we're gonna start? We're gonna start once we get the, the look. Set gets in here, built. We got the talk yeah. show going. Yeah. We have supplementary video content here and there. We're gonna turn this also into a full service, madman ass fucking ad, ad, ad agency plus production house. Yeah. So I'm gonna go to Blue Chill and be like, look, I need twenty million dollars to shoot the best advertisement of all time. Yeah, the best one that's ever been done. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna want to buy it. Super Bowl ad time. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be in an event. Yeah. It's going to be like a moment. We're getting Evil Knievel's son to jump the Grand Canyon, and he pulls his dick out halfway through the <laughs> it's air. It's hard. And it's hard. <laughs> he ta- he pops the shoe. Yeah. He goes down the ramp. And then a, a plane yeah. a plane does a loop around the motorcycle, <laughs> and then it, it's sky riding. It says bluechew.com. <laughs> and he played during the Super Bowl. Guys, uh, if they got three different options now, bluechew.com. They have sildenafil, which is the active ingredient, Viagra, Tadalafil, which is the active ingredient in Cialis, and Vardenafil, which is the active ingredient in Levitra, and s- what, there's another one? Stanax. Staxon? Staxon. Staxon. Sildenafil, Viagra, Tadalafil, Cialis, Vardenafil, Levitra, Levitra and, and Staxon. That's, damn, that's like if the fucking the, the Snow White and the Seven Dwarves were all black ladies. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Levitra, come here. Yeah. Oh, Levitra, you the hungry one, ain't you? Oh, Viagra. No, that's the Alice. That's the Alice. I'm, I'm, I'm the one that's correcting people. I think I'm correcty. Yeah. Um, all right, so what else, guys? So basically this is what you do. You go to bluechew.com. You talk to one of their licensed medical providers. They subscribe you the shit. And you get it sent to your home in discreet packaging. No visits to the doctor. No visits to the fucking uh, pharmacy. Everything is shipped to you in discreet packaging. And they have plans starting at $20 a month. Here's the deal, guys. You put in promo code CUMETOWNCUMETOWN20, right? What are you putting on their website? Are you hacking them right now? Oh damn! Oh, uh, yeah. We're gonna we'll do it this way. Okay. And then wow, Nick, you're hacking them. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get in trouble, bro. We're gonna get in trouble. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool, big guy. Papa. Nick has changed the copy on the Bluetooth website to instead of saying have have better sex, it says now have gay sex. Anyway. You go to bluechew.com. If you put in promo code CUMETOWN or CUMETOWN20, you get your first month free. All you have to do is pay $5 for shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code CUMETOWN or CUMETOWN20, whatever the fuck it is. Guys, get your fucking dicks hard. You're going you're gonna to enjoy it, and your partner's going to enjoy it, too. Um, and what are you doing to their website now? 
We're hacking, dude. You're hacking? We're hacking. There we go. Have gay sex. Yeah. Discover your options through an online provider. <laughs> wow. Guys, don't tell them that Nick changed their websites. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, let's get back to the show. How about that? Oh, yeah. Also, you want to check let's out... Let's get back to the show. ...mybookie.ag. And use promo code CUMTOWN or CUMTOWN20, by the way. I think you just said that, did you? Yes, I did. Um, yeah, back to the show. Uh, mybookie.ag. Sorry to do sorry to do so many reads this time, folks, but uh, we fucked up last week. Yeah, that's our bad. Mybookie.ag. We did the read last week. Check it out. They got some of it. That they're trying to fucking promote. I forget what it is. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, we'll have, you know, do that. Man, I really got to take a big fucking shit. I think I'm finally, like... Like your system is adjusted to being vegan? Yeah. I'm I still like, have to go get, like, blood work done. And then if, if everything's okay... Because I, I will say this. There have been a couple of people... Also, I should say that I'm not off the wagon in case. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, be, it, like, just uh, I hopefully I don't didn't inspire anyone <laughs> to be like, I guess I can start drinking again too. Don't do that. Uh huh. But with the vegan shit, I've been cheating. I started taking fish oil again. Okay. Yeah. That's I don't omega really, three. Yeah, what? I don't really trust the vegan fish oil. From what yeah. I've read about like the bioavailability of it. It doesn't sound very good. Yeah, and also I've had like a lot of brain fog and stuff and I just I'm not like feeling good. And so. you feel better from it? I do. I might I might just start eating fish also. You should be a pescatarian, dude. Yeah. It's yeah. just it's expensive. Fish? Yeah, to eat fish every fu- the way I used to eat chicken. I mean I guess I don't, yeah. maybe I don't need that much. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do like two pieces well, of fish. Well you do cans of t- tuna. That's you wanna avoid. Tuna's you wanna I think you wanna avoid like the apex predators because they have more mercury in them. Is tuna an apex predator? Yeah, dude. They're it's like a big, big ass yeah, fish. They're big yeah. fucking fish. You don't really? think it's because they come in the little cans, but I don't know. Yeah, that's yeah, stupid. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> no, no, li- yeah. Li- literally. Yeah, yeah. The first time I saw a tuna, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought it comes in a can. Yeah. Have you ever had the shit the tuna? Remember they- as a kid, they'd be like, oh, this one's dolphin free. Yeah. And they're like, how do you accidentally put a dolphin in there? You know, it just gets like, mixed up. Yeah, if you got like a hamburger and you're like, and guess what? It doesn't have any rhinos in it. Have you ever had the tuna in the jar? Tonino? Uh-uh. It's like, it's mad good. They're really expensive. No, a lot of sardines. They sell them at the market by my sardines, house. Sardines, like dollars. Mackerel. Sardine, shrimp, mackerel. Yeah, yeah. Like anything that you could have... Like a, you could eat the entire thing at once. Yeah. Is apparently pretty good for you. Yeah, I'll go get blood work done before I introduce anything and see. Because honestly, it's like, I have no idea why I'm vegan. It literally was just, uh, I've been trying to think about that. I, I try to, at this point, I just see my, I try to like look at my behavior as another sensory input itself. Yeah. Because I don't feel like I have any agency. I don't know why I do any of the things that I do. Mm-hmm. So I look at the way I act. Yeah. And... Uh, you know, things I say as just, uh, like, smells I'm experiencing <laughs> or things I can hear. Yeah. You know, because it's like, why why would I be a vegan? And I, honestly, I have no idea. And it's because I'm just... I thought you saw a documentary. I did see a documentary, but the documentary started after. As I was in Chicago, and me and Mike Racine went to Sweet Green, like, two days in a row. And, and I was like, like this damn, I feel good. Why don't I just eat fucking... Vegetables. So Why don't I change my entire lifestyle? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It seems maybe a little impulsive. When I was, yeah, I don't really like lift weights anymore, so I don't need like protein. Yeah, yeah. Um, you yeah. but you do need protein though. You do, but you can get it a lot of it from like beans and yeah, yeah. tofu and shit. Yeah, yeah. But I, you know, I have no fucking idea. Um, what else is in the news? What's going on? Um, Chipotle is is they got a new chicken. Well, they got a they, they're no Spanish allowed anymore at Chipotle. Yeah. You have to order in English. Yeah, it's kind of weird. The bold move for them. They're trying to clean up their image, I guess. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's because uh, you know a lot of people are afraid because they had uh, a lot of gangbanger type elements. Cholitas. I like when people talk about banging, like in reference to them being in gangs. Yeah, I think that's a New York thing. No, I think it's like a SoCal thing, like Mexicans say it. Maybe I'm wrong. 
<clears throat> so what else is up? I forgot. I wanted to talk about something, but I totally forgot you about it. It's okay. You can take your time and think about it. I'm th- saying. <laughs> um, I forget. You forget? You don't want to give it a... Oh, apparently uh, the new Marilyn Monroe movie is uh, has an NC-17 rating. Um, why? I don't know. They show her penis? <laughs> they show her cock. <laughs> Full frontal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, apparently. They should do. They should do that, like, you know, the, the gif <laughs> of uh, Wolverine dropping the towel. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, and yeah. he's got that big swinging cock. Yeah, that, but it's Marilyn Monroe with the, over the vent. Yeah. Yeah. And it says next to it, a well-behaved woman is, is rarely makes history. Yeah, a well-behaved woman is rarely a woman. <laughs> <laughs> women who are actually women rarely make history. Exactly, yeah. A well behaved woman. A well a well behaved bitch. Yeah. Um, what else is going on? What do you got going on in your life, Adam? <laughs> Nothing much, dude. What are your what are your big weekend plans? I um, wanna no I well I can't say. Because maybe it has something to do with the show. So I can't talk about that. But no, I mean, my girlfriend's coming back tomorrow. That's basically it. How about you? You're going to Philly? I will be in Philly. You're going to Racine? Uh, Yeah, Racine's coming down. Do you want to go on Monday? To what? To Southampton. Southampton? Yeah. Oh, for, at Tim Dillon's house? Yeah. Maybe. I could do that. I'll post his address on the Patreon. for the If you have the $25 tier, we will be sharing Tim Dillon's. Uh, address for his Hamptons home. I think he has like seven homes now. Tim? Yeah. Yeah. Fifteen homes. We got to get to that level. We have to get to Tim level. We got to, we, d- we do, if guys, if you don't mind, we got big plans for the Adam Freeland show. Yeah. But it really does, it this does shit does cost a lot of fucking money. Doing anything costs a lot of money. Yes. Yeah. We didn't really know. I think, um, it's we've made a lot of claims mm-hmm. <laughs> publicly. Yeah, <laughs> that we thought, oh, we'll just figure that out. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah you need like a curtain, and it's like fucking ten thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. That's why I guess it's because the whole the whole like the whole you know all production is just built on like some guy with billions of dollars from you know he's like. Right. His Habsburg family money. That's Studios like, have a ton of money. To I, I want to make the gayest movie of all time. Right. And then this, yeah, it just blows. Yeah. You know, that's what Howard Hughes did. That's what James Cameron does. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if his money, his movies make a lot of money. They do. But yeah, on the bottom of every plate in Titanic. Yeah. It's an that HMS model? Titanic and then or the, something. I guess the Woody Allen model of making a movie where you shoot the entire thing in a day. Yeah, and uh, you edit, and then you just start making the next movie, and yeah. you do it for fifty years. Your movie costs your movie costs fifty thousand dollars to make. Yeah, and you get you get you get the most famous actors in the world. Yeah, to work for uh, nothing yeah. because they don't have to ever do more than one take. Yeah, and they do. You know, they have conversations about going to bed with with a different woman. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking about going to bed with her. I think I might. Go to bed right now, fucking dude. I'm fucking exhausted too. Yeah, and this time it's not because of work. I'm back to just being lazy. That's the other thing. That's we had too. one day off you yesterday. Take one day off, and I'm like, fuck, dude. Yesterday was awesome. I'm trying to go play wave race. <laughs> <laughs> We've been working seven days a week. Follow that dolphin. Yeah. I don't even know what wave race is. It was a Nintendo 64 jet ski racing game. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But they also had a stunt mode where you do backflips and stuff. And you try to, I preferred that. Oh, you like freestyle? Yeah, I like freestyle, dude. That is your kind of vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you all right? <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. I had Chipotle for lunch. You've been going to Chipotle too much. I love it. I'm kind of worried about it. Why? I don't know, man. It doesn't seem like it's good for you. Look at me, dude. Yeah. You've seen my body. Here we go. I need the calories. Lindenhurst. Where's that, New Jersey? Yeah. 
That's weird. They have a mobile home, and they're like, I'm going to park it in the fucking middle of New Jersey. Me and my boys on my at my friend's bachelor party, we got a an RV, and it was oh, I guess no Lindenhurst is Long Island. Long Island, and then we drove to we drove to Cape Cod. And it was a really fucking fun week. When was this? It's like two th- no more than that, like three or four summers ago. You got when an RV and went. To, why didn't I hear about this? I did. I told you about it. That was um. This is the first time I'm hearing about it. We did uh we did acid. Look, this one comes with a fat woman. And, uh, <laughs> This one has is just is big, she sleeping there. Just, just big bitch living in this fucking van. <laughs> Yo, can you email them? And say can this I, is so funny. Can dude. I get that big Th- bitch? This is hilarious to have a bookshelf in the van that you live in. Yes, I'm a I'm an intellectual. Wow, look, she's got her uh, her Casio keyboard on the wall. That's, That's pretty cool, cool, though. I like, I like that. that. Being able to just go play music, take your van somewhere and go play music. That is kind of nice. That's a great. Uh, move. The only reason I'm telling this is because I am transitioning to an apartment. That's a funny way to say that. The lady? I lived full-time out of this bus for over a year and did two cross-country road trips. I renovated the bus myself, so I'll be able to answer any questions you may have. I was hoping there'd be something funnier in here. That's a funny way to, that's a funny way to do a show. Oh, I thought there was going to be something funny in here. Never mind. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Yeah, we'll find another we'll one. We'll find a different listing. And we'll see find it. a better one. Here we go. Winnebago Vista. I bet this is hilarious. This Winnebago has been family-owned for the past five years. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I yeah, bet it has. Yeah, fucking family. She has been professionally maintained and runs great. Oh, she. Yeah, she. So it's a girl? It's a girl. You fucking... Why? Did wow. you fuck the van or car or truck? Did you fuck it? Yeah, I guess you fucked it. Mister, did you fuck it? Um. Yeah, like a van or, or like a bus or a boat or something. I just want like you know what would be really cool is a hot air balloon with an RV attached to the bottom, <laughs> <laughs> a flying RV. That's basically uh-huh. what I want. Who would you be? Have in you the seen basket those, those or new things RV? now? Those like battery operated. Those like electric. I forget the name. They're like EVTOLs. No. Yeah, these things. This is the future. Um, for rich people. Is these like gyrocopters? They're like battery operated. Little Whoa! Yeah, like flying cars, basically. Whoa! Yeah. Those are so sick. Yeah, I know. This is awesome. How could we get one? I don't know, but in twenty years, this is how the rich people are just going to get around. Wow. Yeah. What's cool though is they're battery operated. So like, if you like fuck up or there's something wrong with the battery, these turbines, these blades just turn off and they die. <laughs> <laughs> and then you like. And then you just, yeah, you eject, you, use, you eject and parachute onto Fifth Avenue as your helicopter kills <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of people in Tompkins Park. That's so funny. Yeah. EVL, EVTOL crashworthiness workshop. Oh, here we go. So here's NASA explaining. Uh, anyways, we got to find something else to talk about for about 10 minutes. For about ten more minutes, we gotta power through. Um, and then you can go. You're doing a show tonight, huh? Yeah. Go to the New York Post. The New York Post. Okay. Yeah. Um, also, you guys, I will be in Indianapolis. It's so funny. We have to remember how to next podcast. week. We already canceled the Sunday show uh, because I need to be back here to work on this. So it's just Friday, Saturday now. But um, all of the shows might get canceled because I guess that's like a, it's kind of a repeat of Buffalo. It's just not not a particularly hot market. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to say in general, but most likely it's just because of who I am. Uh, yeah, you're, not, you're split, not famous enough. Split hits the fans. The reaction, the reaction is to Leo's breakup with his 25-year-old girl, 12, 25-old year old gal pal are in. Uh-huh. And they're hilarious. Let's read some of these hilarious reactions. Uh, is this on Wikipedia or on... Um, it's Twitter. The news now is just like uh, something happened, and people on Twitter are saying things that I'm supposed to come mm. up with. Have you been in one of those articles before? I've been in a couple of them. There was a guy named Rob Fee that used to do like there was a, that was like a, a thing that was annoying when I was younger and I was on Twitter. Is I like could yeah. tweet stuff, and then somebody would be like, "Hey, I included your tweet in my article that I got paid for," and it's like, well, fuck there's you. like no copy on it or anything. Yeah. It's, Wait, you copy pasted my tweet? Yeah, they just would post your tweet, and then they'd be like, "Can you retweet this?" It's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Why 
Why would I retweet? Who is he? Just like a BuzzFeed He guy seemed like a nice guy, but yeah, I mean, he, I just remember he would do that all the time. You know, yeah. who, you, you know who did that to me? Eve Pizer. What did she put you in? I don't for know. NYC she worked Guido? at Cosmo before she, she decided to try and leapfrog her way into the Chapo sphere by trying to what cancel What happened to her? Uh, she just turned into, you know, like some... She was always just a kind of a careerist. So I think she has, has her New York Times job now. She did She's that at thing. the New York Times now? Yeah, she did that thing with Barry... Uh, Barry, Barry Weiss. Weiss. Yeah. Barry Weiss. Barry Weiss. It's so funny to have, like, just a daughter, and you're like, let's just... She's going to be fat. Let's just call her Barry. <laughs> she's going to be a big fat. She's going to be a little... She'll be a giant little, fat, so... A little pale blueberry bitch. Let's go ahead and just call her Barry. Is Barry fat? She's kind of just round, maybe. Yeah, well, you know what I mean. Like she ain't that big. She's yeah. like She's built like Bob Hoskins. <laughs> she's barrel chested. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess she, she kind of looks okay there. Oh, not yeah. really. Now that I clicked. You know, she looks like she looks like that lady in the van. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I guess she's not as, you know what, I've only seen her face. She is very circular. She has kind of a round face, but I guess, yeah, kind of normal looking person. Yeah, she's putting her feet on Bill Maher's cock in this picture. That's wow. why he looks like that. She's giving him a foot job. Yeah. Wow. But I don't know. I, this conversation looks hilarious. <laughs> What's it about anti-racism? Yeah. Glenn Laurie and Barry Rice. Yeah, how about Barry Rice? Yeah. Barry Rice. And uh, she's a Chinese. How about Blueberry Weiss? <laughs> she broke the rules at Wonka's factory. <laughs> I could picture her very easily like a... Uh, Barry Weiss to JNF audience. Has our luck run out as American Jews? Well, Adam, has it? Uh, I think we're we're still quite lucky. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't think our luck has run out. Yeah, Barry Weiss wondered if the era of Jewish security in America was a blip on history's radar screen that will soon disappear. Damn. Wait, she's trying to say that Jews aren't rich anymore? What do they think is going to happen? Like, do, <laughs> do, they think, do they think that there's going to be like a Holocaust? Like, that anyone would be able to make a Holocaust? A lot thing? of Jews are like that. They were like, if the Holocaust started today, they'd be like, of course. I've yeah. been waiting for it. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, today's the day? Yeah, most certainly. Can you say do a couple more of those voice scans? Oh, uh, mm, yeah, hmm. yeah, of course today. Oh, I've been ready. Oh, We've been expecting this you. Is, I think this is from right after. This article is from right after. Remember that shooting at the synagogue? Oh, yeah. yeah. We were in Australia at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was fucking annoying. Mm hmm. Because it was like, oh, see? And it's like, see what? See what? <laughs> <laughs> see what? Yeah, yeah, Pittsburgh sucks. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a Pittsburgh it problem. It sounds like a Pittsburgh problem. Yeah, most definitely. Uh huh. Damn, I really want one of these EVTOLs. Can you imagine me showing up to the office in one of these? <laughs> Landing on the, on, the seat, on the roof? Yeah. Well, they used to have, th there was, in, up until the 1970s, there used to be, uh, actually, the old, uh, the old Pan Am building, or whatever, what's, yeah. that, what's that, the Met Life building? The Met Life building. Yeah, they used to fly, you used to go there, and it was like 15 bucks, and you could go to JFK on a helicopter from... What? Yeah. For 15 bucks? Yeah. You made that up. No, I'm serious. It was the 70s, so you adjust for inflation, it's like 125 bucks. That's amazing. Yeah, that's like what Blade, Blade costs that much. It's 125 to JFK from the city? It's not a lot at all. You remember really? when they had them on Uber? Blade, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to get I want to ride a helicopter in one of those ones. Well, I told you we're going to do that. I'm going to get my chopper license. That'd be sick, dude. Yeah. They can call me they can call me the bird, chopper. Bird dog. Shit bird. Chopper chopper the top of the black guy. Dog bird. That's it. I'm dog bird. Dog bird? Dog bird. The dude. mole dog bird. And I get a little Huey. I find some Vietnam era Huey and I spray paint Charlie Don't Surf on it and I fly. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I do runs from here to Idlewild. That's and I insist cool. on calling it Idlewild. What is that? That's in Long Island? It's what JFK used to be called. Oh, really? Up until JFK got murdered. Oh. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's pretty tight. I, I already know it from The Simpsons. I hate that airport. 
JFK really sucks. It's a fascist airport. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah. The TSA there is worse for some reason. LaGuardia is real hands off. LaGuardia, they like encourage shoplifting. Yeah. Yeah. They just don't have a subway there. Yeah. That's the only problem. And that's uh, that's the uh, New York airport <laughs> segment, <laughs> folks. Um, well, hopefully you enjoyed the conversation about Chris Hardwick at the <laughs> beginning. Um, we got a lot of big stuff planned for the guys. Adam we Friedland we have a lot of big stuff. If you want, you have. I'm going to be working on it this weekend while Nick is gone. Yeah, you go ahead and and check out Patreon.com/slash TAFS, or I, I think Patreon.com/slash The Adam Friedland Show, mm-hmm. or still Patreon.com/slash Cometown to check out what we did this weekend, and we got big things planned. Uh-huh. Um, it's just a matter of time. It's just just finding the time to get all this shit done. Yeah. We have something, uh, someone coming in yeah. for today to do something. To do, yeah, we got in the studio. Actually, in fact, we have someone coming today even to do stuff. Um, and then, but yeah, find the time to do this. And then also to go out on the road to do stand-up because... With the money we're spending, we don't have income <laughs> outside of stand up anymore. Uh, all right. Thanks, guys. Uh-huh.